what's happening to YouTube today, because you're not here, and no, this is not the video review for Shooky Kiki, so actually, quick, quick answer, um, that video will be moved to tomorrow, because, um, well, I gotta talk about this, <laughs> I wanna talk about this, and I'm going to freaking explode, so I just was watching, watching a video by Japan, who is a awesome YouTuber, which, which probably, you guys should really go check him out, um, so last night I did a vi I did a slash a box of a star of a Bakugan star set which gave me an Aquas an Aquas Garganoid. Hey, there you are, buddy. Here he is, Aquas Garganoid. Three hundred B power, which is pretty big. It's pretty good. Um, and then I'll do a have a close video on him. Along with, um, well, let's see. Kalios, well, I haven't done yet. Um, and, yeah, I think, I think these two are the only ones I haven't done a how to close video on yet. I mean, I mean, Dark is Hydra, so you guys know how to keep closes. In case you don't, I'll do. In case you don't, I'll do both. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the one I got with the um, pot. I get, I'll do one I got with the yes, yes, last night. But also, um, I also, last night I also picked up a Kim Possible DVD set. Also, tonight, I picked up something else from work. I picked up Pokemon The Johto Journeys, which, of course, is. Which, of course, I love. Which of course I love. I, which of course I love Johto. And the four in the four film favorites, the Cinderella Story Collection. Which in case you don't know, um, which in case you don't know, um, what is this? Um, Warner Brothers basically made four movies called. You got, you, you got a Cinderella story with Hilary Duff, a Cinderella story with Selena Gomez, a Cinderella, an, another Cinderella story, a Cinderella story with Paul Simon with Lucy Hale, and a Cinderella story in the shoe pits with Sophia Carson. So yeah, um, I'm excited to watch those once I finish my Jetman. Once I finish watching Chojin Sentai Jet. Once I finish watching Chojin Sentai Jet the Man. But you know what? So, so like I said earlier, I finished watching Japan's video on the Toy Fair news, which, I mean, which, I'm, which I'm not going. So I'm probably gonna post which I mean I'm which I mean um this which I mean if you want to check out the he has his images link in the description of his video. I mean in case you don't know, or in case you were living under a rock last year, Hasbro bought the Master Toy license from 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 Bandai America. So, we're getting Power Rangers toys from the company that makes Transformers and, Mar and Marvel Legends figures. And of course, we have the Lightning Line, which... Wave 1 includes... Doggy Kruger from Power Rangers SPD. One of my favorite Disney era seasons. Powering down Tyler Navarro, down and charge Red Ranger, my only favorite Neo Swan era season. Lord Zed from NPR, the original Swan era. And A Mighty Morphin White Ranger. Tommy Oliver. I'm fucking hyped. 
I'm so, I'm so hyped for this, for this line, guys. I mean, I never, I didn't pick up any, 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 any kind of legacy figures before. Because they were made by Bandai, and Bandai didn't give a shit about us fans. But, the Lightning Line, I'm picking up. Because the Ranger figures will have their, um, will have their, will have their character heads with them. Doggy, Shadow Rangers gave the Doggy Cougar, the Doggy Cougar head, duh. Dark Shadow Rangers gave the, is gave Tommy's head, no duh. And Tommy's, he Tommy's White Ranger suit is getting his head. Like, his actor's head. Like, that's freaking dope! That's so freaking cool. Oh yeah, and, I'm just, <laughs> like, Hasbro, you are spoiling us right now. I mean, wait, what? Okay, um, quick note, quick news update. In case of you are wrestling fans out there, but in case you are, we have a new Intercontinental Champion in Finn Balor. Because he's the extraordinary man who does extraordinary things. And yeah, the only thing that we're going to all because tonight is, of course, the Elimination Chamber for WWE, but still, Hasbro, you're spoiling us. Like, I don't, like, I don't know if any of you guys work for Hasbro or not. If you do, thank you for spoiling us with this stuff. Because, I mean, I bought figures before. But that was when Disney made them. And the only figures I bought were like... The only figures I bought were like... Uh, the bike figures for Dino Thunder. Um, the ATV figure for SPD. Those are the only figures I bought. I didn't buy any figures after that. But holy shit, this stuff looks good. Now... Goldlord looks like he comes in wave 2... Which, he's going to gain some exclusive figure. Along with um, Beast Warfare's Red. Now... Oh, I'm just so excited for this, guys. I mean, you guys know I love Power Rangers. And you guys also know I love Pokemon. But... I mean, oh my god, this stuff just looks so fucking dope. And the Morpher, oh my god, that thing just looks freaking gorgeous! Now, now, now the visor does pop up. Now, um, there will be video links in Japan's video or in Dawson's, or in Dawson's video. Fuck my morphin' brace at. Shit. Hold on, i before the toy comes out because I'm getting, cause I'm getting this, I'm getting this morpher. But hold on, guys. I just want to double check one thing. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, and Hasbro and uh, Incredibles, okay? 
Dragon Ball Super is a series in Japan that did not have a gimmick. At all. So, you want... So, as we said... So... And that's why it was skipped. Because it had no gimmick. So, what does Hasbro do? They deliver the middle finger to Bandai America and the middle finger to, to Saban. The man who started this franchise here in America. They gave him the big old middle finger. They gave him the big old F. They gave him the big old fuck you, old man. Right in the face, and they are giving us a gimmick. Someone who would go Kaiju have looks up these are Ranger Keys. But we are getting Keys. Beast X Keys. And these are all exclusive sounds in the Morpho. And every figure and every toy that they make. Outside of the, outside of the lightning line. And every figure that's not in the lightning line will be coming with will be coming with those keys. Now, and oh my god, the Zords, I cannot wait, I mean, the last Zords I got were Dino Charge, or Dino Charge. I have the Dino Charge Megazord, the Terror Charge Megazord, the Plesio Charge Megazord, those are the only Megazords I picked up from Dino Charge. Why? Because I like Dino Charge and, and I like Cure User. But, oh my god. Now, I will definitely be picking this stuff up. I just need to find out when it's coming to my... I just need... I need to figure out where the fuck it's going to my work. Because I need to pre-order this stuff. Like, pronto. And yeah, um, the and the Beast X Saber. Holy shit! Now there was a saying back when, back when Saban Brands was making, making, one so one. Now there was a saying back when Bandai Mag was making, the was making the um, the toys. You want to get sword toy? You go to Bandai America. You want a good gun toy? Bandai Japan. But this thing looks like the looks like a big another fuck you to to Bandai America. This, this thing looks gorgeous. I mean, like seriously. And then we get into, like, the play school stuff. For, like, kids. For, like, really little kids. There's a bunch of stuff on here. There's... Like, a bunch of stuff on here. For play school. Then there's, um... Micromorphers? Which... I, I guess they're like blind bags, which I mean, I mean this, I mean the, uh, I mean because excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, I mean no, excuse me, no, excuse me, no limit there, okay? The lightning line is not good for my wallet. The main line is not gonna be good for my wallet. See, I'm only spending pretty much half my paycheck on just the power use stuff alone when it comes out. Because I'm that hyped. And then, now, the, now this last image I'm talking about is a backpack that says Great Battle Force, which is going, which, I mean, of course, for those who don't know, in Go Busters, their, their logo is GB for Go Busters. But now the GB stands for Grid Battle Force for Power Rangers, which if you're def which I mean, you're defending the Morphin Grid. 
That sounds like an anniversary season. But this thing looks so fucking dope. I wish I had this when I was. I wish I had this when, when, when I was in school. So I'd use this shit. I'd use that thing to carry my. I use that thing to carry my books around. I don't care. I don't care how would I get a flying rat's ass. That's how awesome. That's how awesome the stuff looks to me. Now he did say they were in talks. Now they. Now Japan did say that anything's possible. For the, for the lightning line. Now, I will admit I did not pick up any legacy items because they were Toys R Us exclusives. And the after, and I'm not even gonna try the aftermarket because oh my god, that is gonna be even more expensive. So which means I did not get a legacy Dragon Dagger, a legacy Saba. I didn't get a Legacy Power Sword, or a Legacy Blade Blaster, or a Legacy Power Warfare, a Legacy Megazord, a Legacy Thunder Megazord, a Legacy Tiger Sword, a Legacy Power Green, Green Warrior Edition. I didn't get any Legacy Line items. Because that stuff would really be bad for my wallet. And it's going to say it costs like 60 bucks. Not including tax. But, now, of course, me, I grew up with the, I grew up in, I grew up towards the end of the original Spawn era of Power Rangers. And I grew up in the Disney era of Power Rangers. The Power Rangers I grew up with are, is, they're different. Like, for me, what, now what do I want, now what do I want in, in, in 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 the lightning line, wild force. That's it. I want wild force and I want time force. Okay. Why do I want wild force? Because wild force is my favorite season. By far, my favorite season of Power Rangers. And why do I want time force? Because I love time force. And if I had to pick which one I want first, Time Force, I'd pick Time Force. Because I will say this, I did not get the Time Force Megazord. Or or the or I did not get the time. I didn't get I didn't get Time Force Megazord, I didn't get Shadow Wing or the Time Shadow. I did get Q Rex. I do have the Q Rex. From the time from Time Force, but that's on my dad's in Defiance. So I do have a Q Rex. Now what? No, they did a Wall Force. On, what would I want? Let's see. Jungle Sword, Jungle Blaster, Drawphone, Looter, Looter Caller, Looter Q, Flute Plate. Wolfus Megzord, Kongzord, Isis Megzord, Pegasus Megazord, Predazord, Animus, Falcon Summoner, Crystal Saber. I want all I would want all the roleplay items. But it but in but like to fit adults, but to fit my but to fit my big old meaty hands. Especially a Falcon Summoner. I never got a Falcon Summoner. I got a Crystal Saber, a Lunar Caller, a Growlithone, a Growlithone, a Lunar Q, and a Flute Plate. What the heck are you talking about? Flute Plate. 
Well, that's what, well, that's what Zanarki used to call Zords. It was called a flute plate. Which is kind of weird. I don't know why it was called that. Let's see. Yeah, um, March 2nd is when the show comes back on. I'm sorry, I don't know what we'll have that day off. I'll probably be working that day, which means I'll be able to watch it, which means I'll have to watch the review, which means I'm going to wait till it's on the app. And then it's going to be for me to watch it, which I'm excited for it. Because I want to watch it, because, I mean, Ninja Seal, yeah, I did watch the finale of that. And Super Ninja Seal, it sucked. Okay, Ninja Seal sucks. Plain and simple, but yeah, so, tomorrow for sure there will be Shokugeki no Soma. Um, I don't want to push things back, you know, you guys know I don't like pushing things back, but I have, but tonight, I just couldn't wait, I saw, I, I mean, I seen, okay, I could also, okay, I had to make this video, let's talk about Power Rangers. So make sure you check out, um, Jap so make sure you check out Japan Ray on YouTube, right now, right now I have his Facebook, right now I have the Facebook page open. Because I need to see these toys. So anyways guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And don't comment. And if you got a comment that's about the video, comment. And if you don't got a comment that's about the video, then don't comment and go ahead and troll, and troll, the, next, and troll the next loser. Peace out y'all.